over showing voter ID mm -hmm. when you go to the polls isn't over yet. Last night, a federal court blocked the voter ID law, at least for the upcoming March primaries. Let's bring in our government reporter Joe Bruno tonight. Joe, this move came after Mecklenburg County had already educated several voters on the new law. I would imagine they want to educate all the voters. Yeah, Scott, uh, the State Board of Elections sent this flyer in the mail to voters, but they were going to send a much larger packet of information out next week. That's on hold for now because so is the entire voter ID law. Nowadays, twists and turns in North Carolina politics are all too common, leaving election directors like Michael Dickerson to scramble. It's just, uh, kind of expected now, I think. Uh, uh, put everything down in pencil is our, is our business right now because we're going to be erasing some of those things. The latest involves voter ID. North Carolinians approved a constitutional amendment in favor of the measure in 2018 by a 10-point margin. Last night, a federal judge issued a notice saying it will be putting a temporary hold on the law. That means this March, an ID won't be required to vote unless there is a successful appeal. NAACP sued over the law and praised the judge's decision. This is a long fought for victory against voter suppression and for equal access to the ballot in this state. GOP leaders blasted the notice, saying this injunction is yet another example of judges legislating from the bench. This action, if it is allowed to stand, will invalidate the votes of millions of North Carolinians. At the Mecklenburg County Board of Elections office, posters and flyers are plastered with info on the newly influx law. Leaders already had numerous events planned at libraries and assisted living facilities to inform people of the new law. Now they can take their time about that if they want to. and come through uh, at, at whatever point we're going to be voting and using a photo ID. So the decision now on whether to appeal will fall to the Democratic Attorney General Josh Stein. The county is going to continue with the plans for those outreach events, but now the focus of them will be on the new election equipment that will be in place for the 2020 races. Scott. All right, our Joe Bruno live tonight. Thank you, Joe, for that perspective. Now, Mecklenburg County is offering free IDs at their offices to anyone who needs them. The elections director says a couple dozen have been issued already.